for the month of December, a new butterfly species is being introduced into the Academy's permanent exhibit, Butterflies. Ota News reporter Pat Gowden is live among the butterflies this morning. And Pat, you are certainly dressed for the occasion. Good morning. Yeah, what do you guys think of the attire this morning? I kind of fit in. Maybe. Um, <laughs> Jenny, it's a different look for you, but okay. My cold drink. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Well, anytime I can come into a, a tropical oasis such as this one where it's 80 degrees and about 80% humidity, I've got to dress the part. And in here it is the butterfly exhibit. We're learning about these little guys right here. Kind of looks like a snowflake. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, not bad. And our cameraman, Jim, you can't see it, but a butterfly has actually landed on his back. It's just that kind of morning. I am here at the Academy of Natural Sciences of Drexel University with David Schloss. Good morning, my friend. Good morning. Great to see you. Great Thanks to see you. Out. Yeah, great to see you and great to see these little guys as well. So what exactly are they? They're kind of all over the place. This white little guy right here, what is it? That is a white morpho butterfly. It's called morpho polyphemus. If you're part of the scientific community, they are from Central America. And we decided to do a little bit of something special this week, get a whole bunch of these guys and show them off. How many do you have currently? We have well over a couple dozen. We have more on the way. We actually have some more coming out in our chamber right over there. You're gonna see quite a few if you head over there. Now, you told me something kind of interesting about what it is they eat. That looks like rotten fruit to me, is that right? That is correct. Our butterflies love rotten fruit. Right now, they're chowing down on banana. They're big fans of it. Mmm, rotten banana, not bad. Okay, so those are white. You also have a special blue-looking butterfly. They look kind of similar, but you're telling me they're not. Well, these guys are part of the same genus, so they're pretty close cousins of each other. We'll see if they'll show off why they're called blue morphos. You don't see too much when their wings are closed, but if it'll open up for us, oh. you see that nice iridescence. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, these guys are actually very closely related. You might not see it, but the patterns are actually quite similar yeah. on them. See, yep, you want to come on out. <laughs> come on out, buddy. Some of them are more adventurous than others, so off we go. Oh, nice. Our white morphos are a little bit more relaxed, but you really see how closely related they are when you look at their chrysalises. So, do a little bit of a guessing game. Can you guess who comes out of who? Uh, I will guess the white one comes out of that one. Excellent guess. Nice. You've got a real eye for this. You might be a scientist. I don't know about like that. Me. I don't know about that one. You sure? Uh, if people want to come out and see the exhibit, when can they do it? How long will these be here for? These guys will definitely be here for another couple of weeks, and we are open every day from 9 until 4.30 during the week and in, from 9 until 5 on the weekends. Beautiful. David, thank you so much. You're it was welcome. a learning experience. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad you stopped by. So come on out, the Academy of Natural Sciences at Drexel University, and come see these beautiful little snowflake-looking guys. And if you want, you can obviously wear your, uh, your tropical attire like I did, although this is optional. Qu quite the learning experience. And, Pat, we've learned that you may have a future in science. So there you go. This whole TV thing doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a jack of all trades, I guess. What can yes, I say? Yes, you are. Thank all you, right, Patrick. Thanks, Pat.